Hey guys, today we're going to be walking through a care guide on one of our favorite cichlids, the Green Terror. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, please like the video, and leave any comments you have in the section down below. Let's dive right in. So the first thing I want to point out is this is technically a golden sum. It is almost identical to the green terror. There's just a subtle difference to the color of its fins. As you can see, there's a orange stripe on the top and the outside of its tail, whereas a green terror will likely have a white or clear pattern on their tail. Golden songs will likely be sold at your local fish store as a green terror. They really do have the same care guides and parameters, aggression levels, all of those things. So it's just a technicality that we wanted to clear up. Green tares can get fairly large. This one here is about five inches long, but they can get up to 12 or even larger in some cases. So a large tank is required. We would recommend no smaller than a 55 gallon tank for one of these guys. If you're having a pair or putting them with other tank mates, we would recommend a 75 gallon or more. He's currently in a 75 gallon tank with a Salvini, a Jack Dempsey, and a couple convicts. However, we do have backup tanks in case of aggression or moving this guy due to size down the line. And that leads into one of the main points about green tears is their aggression level. There are a ton of stories about super aggressive green tears and that's absolutely the case many times. And we've been very lucky with this green tear, our Jack Dempsey and Salvini working together for uh, a little over a year now. However, we preach having a backup plan and we have tanks that we can move these guys around to if aggression becomes too much. Right now, he's chasing around the convict cichlids, which is a pretty common occurrence. We think it's due to their similarity in size right now, as he doesn't really pick on the Jack Dempsey or the Salvini yet. But this can change very quickly as they mature. So regarding tank mates, you really just want to consider what can go well with their aggression levels. And like we said, a Jack Dempsey, Salvini, Midas Cichlid, Oscar, maybe a Jaguar, those types of cichlids typically go okay with a green terror. However, you do want to monitor their aggression as every fish has an individual personality and we've seen many times when these types of fish can clash. We would definitely recommend against putting them with any community fish. Anything that's smaller than them will likely be killed by the green terror or eaten. So just consider that whenever you're putting him in with any other tank mates. Green tares are a South American cichlid, so they do prefer softer water and lower pH. And as far as temperature, we would recommend a range of anywhere from 72 to 80 degrees, and we've seen them do well in all of these temperatures. Their natural habitat are typically calm streams and river basins, so we would recommend a water pump just to keep water movement in your tank, and also sand substrate, as this is what they're typically used to. If you're trying to determine if it's a male or female, it's really easy to tell once they're older. The male will have a defined nuchal hump, as seen in this picture here. Our green terror is still young, but it's already starting to develop that nuchal hump. Males also have a longer flowing dorsal fin, and females typically are significantly darker in color and smaller. When we found this guy at our local fish store, he was a little beaten up. He was in a small tank with small flower horns and Jack Dempsey's, as seen in the picture here. But he really blossomed after a couple weeks, and we now had him for a little over a year, and he's just about five or six inches long. Green terrors are omnivores, and they do well with any type of cichlid pellet, flakes, they love blood worms and brine shrimp, and we'd recommend a diet that's high in protein. We'll put links in the description below of the food that he has used over the last year or so, how he's grown to this size quickly, and the color that he's already showing.
As far as breeding goes, green pairs will pair off and the female will usually lay around 400 to 600 eggs, typically on a flat surface like a rock where they will burrow through the sand to create a flat surface in your tank. They will be very aggressive during this time, so definitely keep an eye on other tank mates if you have them in the tank, as that could definitely be a problem. The green terror is just a beautiful fish, and it's very rewarding to keep if you can manage the aggression levels and you have a tank that's big enough for it. It's one of our favorite cichlids, and we hope this care guide is helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and leave any comments down below. Thanks again for watching, everyone.